Hi, my name is Helen, and I'm Deniza and Mihail from Prophet River First Nations, living in Fort St. John, BC. And I wrote a poem for Justin Trudeau. Here you go. Hey, Justin. There's some words that I've been meaning to get off my chest. I've even traveled twice to Parliament steps. I've heard some of your MPs say that this new relationship is based off of give and take, and we can't have everything that we're asking for. We have 500 years of giving behind us. But hold up, let me check, are you good? Or can I get you anything more? Because your cabinet ministers and departments are sitting behind desks and signing off on permits. Well, you're in the public eye paying lip service to indigenous populations. Well, y'all are making decisions that are gonna be impacting the next seven generations. Doing so in spite of section 35 violations, signing off in light of supposed consultation. And now you are the head of the paternalistic patriarchal structures that be, the ones that change their names over time from Indian affairs to indigenous affairs as if a name change would change the fact that y'all are still operating on the bones of the Indian Act, trying to govern how your Indians act. Or when it comes to Site C, the mega hydro dam that they want to build in this territory, you'd rather we not react. Rather we take your silence for fact, your approval for law, and your blind eyes as reasons for your wrongs. Well, I thought you should know, I'm delivering this poem from within the proposed flood zone. And this land has been my people's home since time immemorial. I don't come from a placeless people. I come from spines that were made sturdy while sleeping on spruce boughs. It's from legs that grew strong by scaling the sides of these mountains and from arms that were taught to navigate these waters that span out like arteries all across this territory. This land is my ancestors' living memory. But do you even understand this concept? I think that you like to pretend to especially when you're donning headdresses and sporting indigenous-inspired tattoos, but when we say places have no monetary value, we actually mean it. Take our nose for what they are. Because we can't just head south when everything heads south. We are the ones who have to stay behind and clean up your mess. Our children, the ones who are gonna have to suffer from your regrets. So if you want real change, you can't give half measures and only kind of oppress only kinda continue to violate treaties, only kinda continue to colonize. So please, don't promise anything if you're not even willing to try. As for me and mine, we're gonna continue to fight. We're gonna continue to rise up like sage smoke carrying valley and prairie prayers, just like we have done for the past 500 years. Because in case you haven't noticed, in spite of everything, we are still here.